Good evening to all our participants and thank you for joining tonight's webinar. Well, before we start, please be reminded microphones are muted throughout the meeting. First, the chat box and for questions, please use the questions box. Our speaker for tonight is Dr. Anis Fuad. He is a working council member of AHIN, and he is also a researcher and academician from Gadsa Mada University in Indonesia, focusing on different aspects of e-health. He has been involved in various projects, research, and consultancies related to health informatics development and evaluation in his country. He plans to implement Open IMS as part of their university's Master's in Public Health curriculum. With the support of AHIN, his team, his team will first explore the open EMIS functions and features and then develop learning scenarios for MPH students to deeply understand information system practices for health insurance. In the long run, his team will compare the existing Indonesian national health insurance workflows with those from the open EMIS. May we now call on our speaker, Dr. Anis? Um, hello, good evening. Uh, thank you, Cha. Okay, uh, um, thank you for all participants who attend uh, this uh, webinar. Uh, I would like uh, to share the uh, uh, scenario of uh, embedding of image into MPH uh, curriculum in Indonesia. So actually this presentation was developed together with our colleague uh, Anissa uh, Guardian and Firdaus. Um, we are part of the researchers and also lecturers at the Graduate Program of Public Health at the Faculty of Medicine, uh, Public Health and Nursing in Universitas Gajah Mada, Yogyakarta. Um, we would like to uh, share this presentation probably in the uh, upcoming 20 minutes, uh, around yeah, 20 minutes, and later on we could uh, also discuss and we invite also question and answer and also we'll be very happy if there are uh, there are any feedback uh, from your side of all the participants so the outline of the uh, webinar uh, we would like to introduce uh, what are uh, the existing mph program in university of gajah mada or universitas gajah mada in yogyakarta and we would like to introduce more detail the two majoring in this MPH program that uh, will be used as a place to implement open image, uh, which is the majoring in health financing and insurance and also majoring on health information systems. Later on, we would like also to uh, present just uh, a, uh, some features, I think uh, the uh, not the very detailed one of the open image that probably we could uh, explore more detail in the upcoming uh, senior scenarios for the learning and um, we will have also such a plan for the implementation so we will start with the uh, uh, of mph program in gajah Mada university it started in 1990s and uh, this two-year MPH program actually consists of uh, 10 measurings or concentrations. It means that uh, the students could choose a different uh, scheme uh, in this MPH program or different uh, scenario, uh, different measuring or concentration. So uh, even though uh, finally the student will receive a Master of Public Health, but in the curriculum, uh, especially uh, in the thesis, uh, they will choose a different concentration or specific uh, or specialist. They can choose either hospital management, health policy, health promotion and behavior, epidemiology, environmental health, nutrition, MCH, health financing and insurance, and and hospital information system. We have also the international MPH program. Uh, it is started, I think, uh, three years back. And every year we receive about uh, 200 and until 300 students uh, from around Indonesia. And especially for the international MPH, we also receive from other countries as well. And the course is in 
place. So why do we need the open image uh, as part of the course on MPH program? I think uh, some of us know that Indonesia plans to achieve universal health coverage uh, at the end of 2019. And until February, the BPJS Kesehatan or the Social Security Health Agency already registered about 217 million members. So it's uh, about 80% of the population. So the government is working very hard to achieve at least 95% of the population will be covered by health insurance by the end of 2019. Uh, from the uh, university side or from the Gajah University, actually we introduced uh, our uh, learning uh, spaces to understand universal health coverage either through lectures, lectures, case studies, seminars, study visits, especially to the health facilities and also the BBGS Kesehatan offices, and also through internship. Students could also understand more detail and also uh, learn and analyze through the thesis as well. But actually we have limited exposure for the students on how to implement or to, pra uh, to practice the implementation of universal health coverage. Uh, for example, on how to uh, enroll the members, how to manage the claim from health facilities, uh, how to detect proof that already submitted from the claim of, of the health facilities, and how to invite or register the health facilities as part of the member uh, or Oh, sorry, uh, or the partners of the health insurance. A student actually could have this exposure through the study visit in the PPGS Kesehatan offices. But usually the study visit is uh, very limited. I think only one day visit. And it is not enough to make them feel or engage uh, and also practice the theories and seniors that has been learned from the lectures. So that's why when we met with our colleague from Open Image uh, through IHIN, we are very happy and trying to identify probably that this uh, this uh, software could be introduced into our curriculum and then we could uh, adopt the software as well and probably we could modify uh, the software into Indonesian language and later on we could also probably discuss uh, this software with our colleague in the PPG Kesehatan. So it probably could um, inspire our colleague in PPG Kesehatan on how to use some function in open image uh, for the uh, scenario to uh, to the students who will uh, probably need to understand more detail of the function of the PGS Kesehatan. This is the idea actually, so that um, we are very happy that IHIN has the collaboration with the GIZ and has opportunity and invite Gajamada University as part of the a focal point in Indonesia to learn open image. And this year we will start to learn more detail of open image and like to uh, engage and collaborate with uh, GIZ to know more detail of open image and trying to uh, introduce open image to our students. And uh, how uh, to adapt open image into our curriculum. So uh, basically open image has been implemented in Nepal, I think, and also Tanzania. Uh, some cases already uh, provided through the manual that has been produced by GIZ team and also probably in Nepal and Tanzania. So we would like first, before introducing open image, we would like to have uh, some materials uh, regarding 
what are the health system contacts in Nepal and Tanzania to make uh, the students understand about the health insurance setting and students could also analyze the difference between the contacts in those uh, two countries with Indonesia. And later on, uh, our team, especially the researchers, uh, would like to learn more detail of uh, Open Image. We would like to have uh, such uh, training uh, will be provided, uh, I think, directly from a GIZ team. And then based on the understanding, we would like to have some scenarios for students uh, in Indonesia on how to uh, understand open image. These scenarios will be implemented into different step of learning, either from uh, practical use, tutorials, and then uh, some specific training sessions. And we have also some assignment for the students, and then the student could also be invited to give feedback uh, uh, to, uh, to the materials. Because it is a, in the first uh, implementation, so this year we target to have this kind of courses and receive uh, feedback from the students. And then based on the feedback, we would like also to uh, report this feedback uh, to IHIN and also uh, GIZ. And we would like also to have this uh, feedback also to be shared with our colleague in the PPGS Kesehatan. Um, after um, uh, uh, <coughs> trying to understand uh, the MPH curriculum in uh, in Kajamada, we uh, uh, yeah we trying to understand which kind of courses that probably are most suitable to implement open MIS. And then we finally uh, conclude that there are two measuring that uh, probably will be receive uh, benefit most uh, on implementing open image, which is the measuring on health financing and insurance, and also the uh, sorry a health information system, not hospital information system. So these uh, two measuring the health financing and insurance and the health information system will be uh, targeted to adopt this open image uh, as part of the curriculum by this year. In the course or the measuring of health financing and health insurance, there are at least uh, five uh, courses that uh, probably could be uh, relevant for open image, but we focus on three uh, main courses, which is health insurance, managed care, and provider payment mechanism. So, uh, first, we would like to uh, learn more detail about the learning objective and uh, lecturers and also the uh, tutorials that are already in this health insurance, managed care, and provider payment mechanisms. And then we would like map this learning objective with what are the features and function that are already available in open image and hopefully uh, the use of open image uh, for the students in health insurance uh, are for uh, providing uh, students with some hands-on experience uh, of the health insurance and managed care and also help them to transfer of knowledge uh, with the national health insurance manager, policymakers, and also the academic. So hopefully, um, students could uh, learn uh, open image and trying to match uh, with the theories that already received from the courses. And later on, we are expecting that students could also uh, share the feedback and would like also to share the feedback to our colleague in the PBJS Kesehatan. Uh, until now, the alumni of the uh, health insurance and health financing uh, mostly are from the uh, district uh, health offices. Um, few of them are from the healthcare facilities and also from the universities. So we would like to have uh, the students um, uh, have this kind of experience on using open image. And 
since uh, most of the students actually not uh, fresh graduate, they are already working those uh, certain institution. We are expecting that uh, student could also provide some critics uh, and also analysis regarding the existing feature in Open MS. So later on, we would like to explain on uh, what are the uh, existing courses in health information system management or health informatics. So actually the expected competencies for students in health, uh, health information system management, we are expecting that students uh, will have uh, this kind of um, competencies on public health informatics and view on clinical informatics. And especially for the data management using information technology and health informatics project management. So the main uh, competencies in this measuring uh, would uh, include uh, some courses on uh, public health and then some courses related to the health management and some courses related to the health informatics. So based on the courses on health informatics, we would like to have uh activities to map the learning objective uh, from some of the courses into the open image especially for example uh, some courses related to the for example decision support system so in this part we would like to have uh, for example some or view courses on uh, decision support are related with the fraud detection in open image for example and then in the database and data warehouse, we would like also to have some uh, exercise and assignment related to the how to use the data from OpenMIMIS for letter uh, analysis or analytics, for example. And also from the surveillance information system, it could also be related to the how to use the claim data to support the surveillance uh, of the certain disease. So this is just an example that uh, probably we could have uh, this scenario based on the open image. So basically the um, potential open image adoption for uh, the courses in health information system are uh, divided into two main uh, objectives. First is uh, students are expected to understand the managed care workflow uh, in healthcare providers and also the uh, health insurance and students could also having some understanding about the standard and interoperability uh, of the patient data either for referral system reporting claim and reimbursement until currently the alumni of the health insurance uh, sorry health information system are distributed in uh, mostly all the provinces in Indonesia. Um, every year this uh, program actually the student about uh, 20 students per year. We started the program at 10 years back and until now the alumni about uh, 205. And as you know the profile of the alumni are also similar mostly are from the district health office and view uh, from the healthcare facilities and later on from the uh, academic. So um, based on these uh, two uh, measuring, um, I would like to continue uh, later on what are the existing function and features in open image. So um, this is the slide that we uh, trying to uh, adopt from the uh, open image architecture. Uh, I think our colleagues from open image uh, are expected to uh, uh, later on to clarify or to give some input uh, because uh, actually from from our side the the team from Gajah Mada uh, has not received uh, special courses on open image, which is trying to understand from the demo uh, server. And later on, we, we are expected to receive uh, more collaboration with uh, 
communities on the users of open image and also i hint to know more detail about this architecture uh, either from the presentation layers uh, the architecture inside of the uh, open image and also all of the function so this is what we already uh, trying to grab from the uh, demo server uh, of open image there are several features and functions related to the uh, management of the members of uh, health insurance claim management administration part and also some tools regarding to the registration and there are also uh, several functions related to the management of the uh, insurance product that are already available in the health insurance scheme uh, some function related to the health facilities management and other function related to the medical services administration and so on i would like uh, not to go into detail of uh, all each function and features i think the next uh, webinar on open open image will try to understand more detail of about of all each features and function i will skip uh, some of the slide uh, from the features of open image and then trying to directly uh, goes to the step for the implementation so uh, for the implementation, uh, first uh, in this project of 2019, we will have uh, several steps. First, we would, we would like to continue on identifying the learning objective of relevant courses into measuring or concentration in our MPH program. And then based on the existing learning objective, we would like to map the learning objective and then develop the specific learning and instructional courses based on the open image and also the existing courses in MPH program. And then uh, we will develop scenarios for learning and assignment for uh, e-learning courses uh, on open image is for students. Uh, this e-learning courses probably we will start on uh, and then this e-learning courses probably will will be available for two months and student could also have some experience on using uh, open image and then after two months we will get the feedback from the users during the exercise within two months and then on september we expect to disseminate the result to ihin and also GI and also our colleague in BBJS Kesehatan. Hopefully, if we have time to finish the translation of Open Image into Bahasa Indonesia, uh, we would like to have this kind of courses to other universities as well in Indonesia. So this is, I think, uh, the end of my presentations. So uh, I'm uh expect that i'm expecting that uh, we receive uh, comment and also suggestion advice from all the participants of the webinar i'm very sorry if there are uh, some uh, mistakes and also uh, i think my presentation are not uh, clearly understood by all participants Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your uh, part, uh, attendance in this uh, webinar. I will uh, return back to Cha. Please, Cha. Yes. Uh, thank you for sharing your plans on implementing open image in your curriculum, Pak Anis. Uh, we are now open for questions. Uh, if you also have suggestions, please feel free to send them in the questions box. Uh, we have a comment here, Anis. Um, it says, "I truly appreciate the integration okay. of Open Image okay. as an as a value addition to the current MPH curriculum." So, does the university yeah. offer Open Image tool training program, and issue 
exclusive merit certificates to students based on different proficiency grading levels. Uh, sorry, Cha, uh, please uh, uh, repeat again. I'm not. Ah, yes. Uh, the question is um, Does the university offer open EMIS tool training program? And does the university yeah. issue exclusive merit yeah. certificates to students based okay. on their proficiency? Okay. 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 Thank you for the question. Yes, I think it is a good, uh, uh, yeah, a good question related to the certificates. Uh, yeah, uh, different proficiency level. Uh, this year we just started to accommodate on how to uh, embed uh, appropriately the open image uh, features and function to our courses. So based on the uh, pilot project and trying to uh, have this kind of courses to the students. We are expecting to have uh, receive uh, feedback from the students and based on our learning as well into the open image, probably we could have such kind of a different level of uh, proficiency for the students, the basic until the expert level. But uh, for the basic until the expert level, I think we need to coordinate more with the uh, uh developer of uh, uh open image and also would like to consult more with our colleague from nepal and also tanzania uh, who already implement the open image but for the uh Gajamada university level uh i think the most important part is uh, how to make the uh, uh, students understand very well and also have such kind of uh, uh, competency on skills practice on using open image and trying to adapt uh, trying to implement the theory that has been received from the information system and the health insurance uh, onto the uh, utilization of the software uh, for the province CSE level i think we need to discuss more with our colleague from giz i think that's my uh, trying to uh, answer the question. Yes, thank you, Pak uh, Is yeah. there any more questions from our participants? Yeah. Uh, please type your questions in the questions box. If you have um, suggestions or comments on the implementation plan, thank you. Any question? I think someone has raised Uh, we have another question, Pak Anil. Yes. Um, it reads, is there a possibility to integrate open EMIS with existing EMR providers in Indonesia? Um, I do not know so far. Just, uh, yeah, this is my uh, honest uh, question, uh, question. I do not know so far because uh, uh, our team in Gajah Mada also have, uh, do not has, uh, have uh, not uh, experienced to explore directly of open image 
So we will try to uh, explore first. Uh, as you know, this is uh, the first uh, the first webinar, and uh, we have um, trying to figure out how to implement Open Image. Uh, but as you know, there are several uh, model of EMR in Indonesia. Uh, either uh, those uh, have uh, proposed by BPJS Kesehatan, mostly for the primary care. But also there are other uh, EMR software that already implemented by the hospital, usually by vendors or also uh, by the uh, hospital as well, the home ground. Um, like uh, what I said to you regarding the uh, objective for the health insurance, uh, sorry, health information system concentration program, you would like to know more detail about open image and trying to figure out uh, how to have this kind of interoperability. So after this uh, exercise, the pilot project in this year, I think we could have uh, the, yeah, more, uh, or better answer to your question. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Pak Ali. Uh, we also have another question. Um, are there other countries implement uh, where open image is implemented at the university level? And what about the license or copyright of open image? Um, I think those uh, who are legitimate to answer the question, I think our colleague from open image are there any colleagues uh, from Open Image who are joining the uh, webinar so far? Either from Nepal, Sauraj, or from GIZ? I don't know exactly. Oh, I think they're not yet here, Pak Anis. Oh, maybe we can raise it to them. Mm -hmm. we, we have a message from Dr. Bunchai. Uh, he says it is very yeah. clear on how you will implement implement the open emis so he's congratulating you pak anis oh thank you thank you dr punjai i think there are no more questions from our participants in case you have um comments to the implementation plan of indonesia please feel free to send us a message i think this wraps up the session pak anis thank yeah, you for sharing yeah. your plan yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for those uh, participants uh, who are attend uh, this uh, session. Uh, if you have any more question and suggestion or advice, uh, please feel free to send email to me so that uh, we could also uh, share with you as well the progress of our uh, project in Indonesia. Thank you, Cha. Thank you, Pak Anis. Thank you, everyone. And please also thank you, thank you, uh, register for our next webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.